Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to hide the taskbar using a key so that way it'll stay hidden even if you put your mouse over it and you'll have to press a key to unhide it. So normally if you hide it you just hover your mouse over it and it'll bring it back. And then the settings for this are under personalization and taskbar. And then you go to taskbar behaviors and check the box for automatically hide the taskbar. Alright, so to do so we're going to be using the free Windhawk app. So this is a, an app where you install mods to tweak the way Windows looks and operates. All right, so how it works is you have your home section with your installed mods and some featured mods. And if you go to Explore, you could actually search here or browse all the mods and sort them accordingly if you want. So once you find the one you want, which is called Taskbar Keyboard Only Auto Hide, search for that here. Then when you find it, click on Details, and then Install, and then it'll be in your Home section here. So you could enable it from the main screen or enable it from here. So it has a couple settings here. Uh, one to fully hide. So this says it makes it so the taskbar is fully hidden on auto hide, leaving no traces at all. And when you use this, you have to use the keyboard. And then there's an option here if you're using Explorer Patcher, which we're not using. All right, so let me shrink this down a bit here. Okay, so now that it's enabled, you can see I hover my mouse over and it doesn't come back. So if I use either the Windows key or Control Escape, so it tells you which ones you could use here, then it comes back. And what you can do too is if you hold the mouse at the bottom and click, it'll bring it back. So that's another option. But if you check this option here and click on Save Settings, and that'll disable that where you can't even click to bring it back. But you can still use the keyboard to do so. So I think this is a better option because that way you could at least click down here if you want to bring it back and not use the keyboard. And then if you change your mind, you could disable it from here or remove it altogether. And then when it comes to Windhawk, you need to make sure it is running in the system tray, otherwise your mods won't work. So if they stop working, you could come here and check it out and then restart Windhawk if necessary and it should be set to automatically start with your computer to begin with. Alright, so once again, install Windhawk, so I'll put a link in the description for that. Do a search for Taskbar Keyboard Only Auto Hide. Install it, enable it, and that's all there is to it. Alright, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.